Oh, hey guys. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm still chipmunk faced. Um, my wisdom teeth are still healing. It's only day two. Well, it's not even day two yet. Six o'clock tonight technically will be. But, um, <clears throat> I'm starting on my real born Thomas awake today. Forgot how much I actually love to paint these things. Makes me miss it. And of course, the moment I get into painting them, we, you know, my mom wants to go and do things. <clears throat> um, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit. I, you know, I've not been making many videos lately just because I've been so busy with everything else. Um, plus, I kind of just wanted to get a video of me talking with my mouth all puffy. Just because... I want to be able to look back at this later and be like, ah, oh, remember when I was all chipmunk faced and I looked a mess and everyone was making fun of me because I couldn't talk and eat real food. That's the hardest part about this is not being able to eat real food. I'm a big girl. I love to eat food. Clearly. No hateful comments on that either because I promise it won't hurt my feelings one little bit. <clears throat> but yeah, I just started uh, painting on... Thomas awake here. Got his veins on his head finished. I'm just doing the veins on his legs and whatnot. And um, his undertones. And his undertones on his nose are just a tad bit dark for me, but that's okay because I still have to do skin layers on him. You can see his veins. He's got quite a bit of veins on his head. I'm going to send him off to Sierra Watson so I can, so she can paint his hair also. Because this will be a personal baby of mine. Which I'm very excited about because he is very tiny compared to Everly. And that's one reason I got him. I was going to get the real born Clyde awake. But after I did my mother and my nana-in-laws I just I didn't like him awake as much and his sleeping kit is not very cute to me oh, it's so mean but it's just not but anyhow it's besides the point sorry the birds are being very loud my windows open because it's a beautiful day outside and I need fresh air I'm actually kind of happy me and my mom are going <coughs> away today because I was really going to lose my mind having to sit in this house much longer. Um, my body is really, really sore from like laying around. I still have medical tape all over me from where they had the IVs and stuff in. Um, and my mouth keeps bleeding a lot, actually. More than I think it's supposed to. But I called the doctors today and asked them and they said that it it's normal. So, I'm going to trust them, but yeah, you guys can just sort of see, and they told me not to brush my teeth either, which makes me really freaking grossed out, because I've not brushed my teeth since the morning of the surgery, Ugh, and they just feel really gross. They said it's probably safer to not brush my teeth because of the fact that these are so swollen. They said maybe the third or fourth day I came, which is disgusting. So I've just been taking like my finger on my front teeth at least and brushing them. You know, just kind of the plaque off. It's really freaking gross. If you can avoid getting your wisdom teeth out, do it because mm, awful. Although I didn't wake up high and funny like most people would, I kind of just woke up very um. Um, not groggy, I don't know, I just, I was very sleepy, like, I knew where I was, and I knew, I, first thing I said, I said, I want my mom, and I was in phase one recovery, and my mom can't be in the phase one recovery, so, <clears throat> yeah, I was connected to all kinds of, like, heart monitors and crap like that, and it was kind of annoying, but, I'm not dead, so I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> um. 
Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little video just because I'm... I missed painting so much and I forgot how much fun it was. But after painting Everly, oh, she was so much work. That's the last doll I've painted. So, um, yeah, I just got super tired of it for then, for the time being. <clears throat> Plus, I did not, like, last Sunday, I worked a 15 and a half hour shift at work because I knew that I was going to have to be off for my surgery. So, yeah, that was a lot of fun. 15 and a half hours, 20 minute break, that's it. I was so, so, so exhausted. By the end of my shift, when I went home, I swear I literally just got knocked right out. But, um, yeah. I'm really trying to, uh, just recover. I'm not gonna, I've not been on any, um, pain meds. The last time I took a pain a pain pill that they prescribed me was um, last night before I went to bed because my mouth was really hurting last night for some reason. But um, other than that, yeah, I haven't really taken any. I've just been trying to do ibuprofen because they gave me hydrocodone and it makes me feel really, really sleepy all the time and I don't I don't want to be asleep anymore, so. And they also gave me antibiotics and a steroid. Which is good because this has got to go away. It's really not as painful as people... It's more agitating than anything right now. Just because I have um, ibuprofen in my system. But I'm sure for someone who can't tolerate pain like my mom... Like my mom she... She, uh, yeah, it's not fun for her. When she goes under anesthesia, she, you know, ends up in the hospital for days because she gets extremely sick off of them, off the anesthesia when they put her to sleep. Like, when she had her gallbladder taken out, it's supposed to be like an in-and-out surgery right here. And she was in the hospital for five days and still came home with, like, drainage bags out both sides of her stomach. And I've actually lost like five or six pounds these past couple days because <coughs> I've been living on like jello and pudding and mashed potatoes. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm still really stuffed up, like clogged up through here because they put a uh, breathing tube through my nose and into my throat, into my lungs so that I can, so he can work in my mouth. That's all for this video, guys. I really just wanted to talk to you guys and update you guys on my, my face. So, I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.